welcome back to Sister Talk. Today we are, we are watching um, a brother's men talking to us. We are discussing the issue of uh, purposeful singlehood men's edition. Last week we had ladies here talking to us, opening up their hearts on some of the challenges and issues they are going through in the process of getting, wanting to get married. And today the men are here to respond. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. And to as we were, going, we were going on a break, you, you guys said that one of the issues that puts you off is uh, when a woman is desperate. What is the other issue apart from desperation? Victor. Okay, uh, I think uh, this one goes both sides. Uh, it's like, uh, let's, let's be teachable. Like, at times I'll fail, at times you'll fail. But the good thing is uh, when we pick ourselves up, we learn, we laugh at our past, and uh, we create a future from there. Because at times we, we make mistakes. Me, I always laugh at my mistakes. That was the last year. <laughs> so you know that you did something stupid, yeah. and you correct, you grow. Like, there are things you did, and uh, right now you've grown past that, you realize, this one was a silly thing. Mm -hmm. And you, it's you telling yourself, this was silly, but now I'm grown up. So it's, it's us to allow ourselves to also grow. There are mistakes we've made, there are things we've done that maybe are not good enough, but allow yourself to grow and pick yourself from those things and grow and uh, it be beneficial. Don't just stay there, yeah. Sanju, I'd like you to look at that camera and talk to a lady right now who has been single for a while from a man's perspective to encourage them. Yeah, I would like to encourage this lady that she should continue. We, we have talked about uh, the lady coming as a helper. So she should continue to develop herself, uh, develop her gifts, her abilities, her talents, um, all that, her personality or her past, all that. God has shaped her to be so that when she meets this gentleman, then it will be a synergy. You know, synergy is where I come with two fruits, you come with three fruits together, you become like 10. It's weird <laughs> math, but it's synergy. So, Multiplication. Yeah, yeah exactly. So that, that's what I would like to tell this lady. She should not give up. She should not become uh, desperate or attached to a man who might not be the, the right one. So, yeah. Wow. Robert, there's yes. this cliche that most uh, born again men use it. Yes. Hearing God. Mm -hmm. When they want to <laughs> when they want to date a lady, they say, I had God and mm -hmm. I feel you are the one. Mm -hmm. Then in the process, they suddenly hear God and they feel this one is not the you are not the one. So they just walk back or they don't even say. They just begin acting weird. Mm -hmm. is, where, do you think that is okay? Uh, uh, personally I don't feel that is okay. Um, uh, using God. O of course, we don't uh, nullify the fact that uh, God can speak to someone concerning the, the future met. But um, um, as we always know, uh, when God speaks to someone, he should also speak to the other party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that aspect of a man using uh, God, using God is the one that, that, that I'm against. Did you really hear God? Did you really hear God? So uh, you better just, if you have seen a lady, you like her, and you have seen her character, you have seen where her vision, where she's going to, you have uh, studied her, and you, you, you know, at least you know, you know her to, us, to some extent. You just go and invite her over and just let her know your feelings and all that. But that aspect of misusing God is what is, uh, is, what is not good. Other men even go to the extent of uh, maybe lying by saying that they saw a dream. <laughs> yeah. It's good that and, uh, you munajishitaki leo. Yeah. <laughs> you see, you, you, other men have heard these stories out there that a man said that I, I, I saw you in a dream and if you don't get married to me, you are doomed. You're telling <laughs> a lady that if lightning will strike you. <laughs> lightning will strike you. <laughs> As my brother well, here says, so there are a lot of things that uh, sometimes men say that are, uh, that, that are against them. Victor, yeah. yes. let's, let's hear these lines that men use that when a woman hears, they need to, 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 to check twice. One of them, I had God, mm -hmm. I had a dream. What is the other one? I think uh, 
they uh, people people just come up with things. You know, they, they, those are lies. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. God, God, like uh, maybe their father is the devil because he's the father <laughs> of lie, yeah. of lies. So at times people just uh, tell people when I saw you, mm -hmm. I saw God you putting something in my heart. <laughs> G, I, when I, I knelt down worshiping, I felt a connection with God. Yeah. You know those things. <laughs> at times, and it's you hearing yourself. So. If you, 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 you lie that you are speaking what uh, God told you, <laughs> you know, it will fade. Yeah. And when it fades, utakuja kusema, ah, ah, ii, apana. Hapo sasa, it's an odiskia wapi moment. It was moment. the flesh leading. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because God will not be dragged into yeah. things he didn't say. Yeah. And you will need to sustain them with more lies. Mm. Yeah. Which wow. is very wrong. So, sisters, be alert. <laughs> Uh, read the word of God. You know, if you know God, when he speaks to someone, then you'll, you'll be able to discern. You'll have that wisdom. Not just everybody, monyata kuja hapo ameva, like, crazy, crazy suits, maybe na via to pointed, akuja kuambia, the Lord is saying, I saw him in the dream, sijui akaniambia, he'll come in black. Sijui, you'll, those things, let no one scare you. You are a child of God. God cannot scare you. Don't he's be your father. Into yes, he's your father. <laughs> <laughs> Samuel. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, this, this, that line, um, uh, maybe some men who are deep, you know, man deep into, mm. into the scriptures, they mm. might use something like, you know, mm. I, I feel ruthless, like, mm. like, like Boaz. You know, mm. you know, Boaz was, before he got married, you know, before Boaz got married, I feel like him. I'm ruthless. That's why he's <laughs> always ruthless. I'm your king's redeemer. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the scriptures in twisted out of context. Why do I have a feeling you've ever used that? Like <laughs> <laughs> confess, brother. Yeah, confess. <laughs> Maybe it was in my imagination. Yeah, so, what creative. you guys are saying that mm. born again men may be twisting scripture in order to get a lady? Some. Some. Some, yes. Yes, some oh, yeah, oh. good. Some of the married, uh, not married, some of the single men in church are using those lines in order to get a woman not necessarily because they want to marry them but just to for their entertainment and amusement in the process of them building themselves up mm -hmm. if you're watching us please uh, <laughs> i hope you're enjoying the show uh, comment send us a text on the lines that are running below your screen so that we can know where you're watching from and if you're getting encouraged so guys the the, there is the issue that ladies are saying these days you are intimidated by a woman especially who is doing well in terms of financially she's earning more or a, a lady who is ahead academically you you just have a degree they have a master's maybe two masters does that intimidate you robert uh <laughs> <laughs> is it let, true? Let me, yeah I, I i'll say it is um true and also not true uh -huh. yeah because uh, <laughs> <laughs> but for me personally yeah. i'm not intimidated sure. yeah but we have other men that are intimidated by uh would we call them macho ladies or something macho, like that? Mm, or alpha strong, ladies strong women yeah. yeah strong women those who have uh developed themselves they have a phd and uh they, are, they have gone to school and um, the ladies driving and, uh, and all that. I can say that there are men who are intimidated by that. Mm -hmm. But there are some of us <laughs> who, are not, who are not intimidated. Strong. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, some of us are not intimidated. So for me, I can say that. Yeah, yeah. so Sanju, you don't mind a, a woman who is already driving their own car or she's already, you know, has master's PhD. She's even doing PhD right now. Would you intimidated yeah uh not exactly uh as, as we are talking about the helper she comes with, those things, <laughs> with all those things. the giftings the phds and all that i think for me i'll be happy about it especially if she's coming to help me do what god has called me to do i think the biggest challenge would be uh for a feminist you know gender equality is not equal to gender uniformity you know that's why like for men we are built uh, stronger than than you ladies 
uh, us, we have muscles, you know, so that if, if something is outside there, I can come and carry it. <laughs> you know, you don't expect a lady to go and, you know, carry the fridge outside, yeah. Yeah. but you, you are built, uh, you know, to be caring and nurturing your softer and all that. So if the lady is now this uh, feminist, you know, who wants to be like me, then, then in, I, in I fact, they want to be you. That. Yeah, they want to be me. That's plagiarism. <laughs> You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, so that that could be the issue. Yeah. But if she's coming loaded with all those things and 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 she understands me, she knows what, where I'm going, and maybe we've interacted with her, and she knows you know what she's coming with. I, I think I have no problem with all those things. So I, 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 I agree with him mm -hmm. that this lady should come with all those things, but also be submissive. Okay. Yeah, because if she's not submissive then it can bring chaos. It's going to bring chaos. Yes. So the issue is, yes, she has, she's well off, she's doing well financially, she has uh, the degrees and all that. But if she comes wanting to domineer the man and make him feel, uh, you know, inferior, inferior, it, yeah. it puts the man off. Exactly. It's not the things that she's coming with, but the attitude. Yeah. Is that what you guys are saying? Yeah, yeah. All right. So how about age difference? Victor, uh, the, the, there is also the issue where a man don't want to marry a woman who is older than them. I think uh, that's a very like, <laughs> 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 like it's uh, it's. I think every person handles it differently, and it also depends on the circumstances. If you two have agreed and uh, that's your agreement, then. <laughs> but now it comes uh, most of the time you find that uh, as Sanju was saying like the people we schooled with they, they got maybe guys who were older Five, yeah years. yeah because those guys maybe were like they've made here things on a and maybe they have arranged and it's easier for you maybe in your chaos <laughs> <we> talk <laughs> campus <laughs> you are still sharing a room for people you see we compare like this person has an advantage over you because we talk <laughs> they have figured things out and as a core maybe i may get one bedroom and you don't Story see the problem <laughs> but now uh it, it really depends on the agreement so that at any point it doesn't come up. You know, there are things, <laughs> there are things, if someone starts seeing you in that light, then it becomes an issue. But if uh, you two are in agreement and you know this person's position, he, whatever age they are, then you two have agreed, I think it's okay. But now that is like... Uh, people's preferences or their own situations. They decide we are doing this, we know it. I see at Yemen, I'm here for 16 years because ladies are only 16. <laughs> <laughs> you know the real age. We see the value we took it. Yeah, I can You stumble on the idea. Yeah, you should know this and you should like talk about it and you should say you are okay about it and know how you handle it. Because when you're okay with it, if any other person is not okay with it, I think that's their issue. But if that age is bringing maybe challenges or like disagreements, then you need to address it. And then uh, I also hear that uh, uh, ladies mature faster <laughs> than men. Okay. So at times when I was like someone who is a lady who is younger, like an is the same reasoning na a person is a bit older. So, but sasa mimi ni kichukua mtu mwenye maybe ya anafikiria vitu zenye. Anafikiria mbele paka na shidwa. Maybe the one leading or. <laughs> but I think that's just preference. But uh, naturally, that's how it occurs. But if you have, uh, you find someone who is older than you and you have agreed and you have discussed and it's not an issue between the two of you, I think there's no issue, there's no problem yeah, there. So what you're saying, it's all about personal preference. Yes, Until yes. you can work with a lady who is yeah. Um, yeah. older than you. Yeah. On the news the other day, there was a guy your age, you guys, who's uh, dating a woman who's 50. 
Jeez, that's yeah. his choice. That's his decision. That's yeah, what you're yeah, saying. Yeah. yeah, we have been following it yeah, on social media. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're adults. Yeah. They are, they're adults and they can make a choice. So it's not really, it does not cut across all men. It's yeah. just that some have decided it that way. Yeah. Uh, we are also living in a society where uh, maybe a lady was, um, when she was younger, she got a child. Mm -hmm. And now no man wants to marry her because she has a child. Why? <laughs> Robert, <laughs> why? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, she's coming with... Uh, um, with a baggage. <laughs> with baggage. Really not baggage. baggage. Yeah, no. Not baggage. <laughs> no. Oh, she's coming with a package. Uh -huh. You can say that. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, for me personally, I, uh, and I, I know other, other many men out there uh, can agree with me that uh, uh, there's no problem with that. As long as you, as a man, has, a, uh, has accepted and the lady should also not hide it. Yeah? You have a child somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you have a child somewhere, you know it, with another man, and you meet this new guy. Don't hide the fact that you have a child somewhere. Bring it up uh, as early as possible, the right time during the relationship, so that the man can decide. So if I already know that the lady uh, has a child, uh, I think I don't have a problem with that. I will take that child. Um, as my own and raise uh, him or her up uh, in the right manner according to uh, the ways of God. Yeah. So the issue is hiding then uh, yeah. when the wedding is tomorrow you... Surprise. The child is brought up. Surprise. Yeah, that would yeah. be a problem. Is it the same thing, Sanju? Yeah, I think it's the same thing. Um, uh, I think we should even have started saying that the first thing about... Uh, marriage should be it should not be an equally yoke with a uh, non-believer so if this lady is a believer and she has a child and and she's uh following god pursuing righteousness and all that i, I think uh it's, it's okay we can you know go along and, and and get married together and at the same time uh the other person because it always brings conflict with the other with the other man so this issue issues should be sorted out and uh, 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 proper guidance offered so that uh, there's a clear path on uh, whether the other man will come to claim the child or something like that. Or is going to participate yeah. in, participate in, in raising, child. The child. raising the child. Yeah. Wow. Yes. I believe you guys are getting something as you watch the show. We are discussing Purposeful Singlehood Men's Edition. And today we are canvassing some of the issues that um, are affecting both men and women in the process of wanting to get married. Mm. I had a story, a true story, Victor, the other day that there was a man who took a lady for a date somewhere, somewhere in a, those, you know, high-end places. So the lady, of course, came driving. <coughs> Sorry. The lady came driving. <laughs> she parked. Uh, then the guy came after, the, after the, the date is over, you know, they're all going home. The lady goes to the parking end. <laughs> so then she, she asks the guy, uh, where have you parked? Mm. The guy is like, no, I came with um, an Uber. In oh, fact, yeah. I've even called it. Mm. It's on its way coming. And that's how the guy got dumped. Why? You are not driving. <laughs> I cannot date a guy who is driving. So the guy decides, I am going to revenge on this lady by becoming rich. So he's not going to get married until he, he becomes rich. And he, <laughs> <laughs> so that he shows this lady. Are most men on a revenge mission because they were dumped and they were rejected by a woman. So they try to come up with something in order to be like a protective gear over their, themselves. Okay, I think uh, this is always an issue of identity. If you don't know your identity, <laughs> if you don't know your identity, yeah. you know, like uh, when you were in high school, there are people like you know just high school kids like mnaona mtu masikio unasema anaitwa masikio but you know it doesn't squeeze it is what it unavutu ana mask to call to call like to call it right a satellite so you know like if you know yourself no matter what a person calls you you know you are you know who you are so even that 
if there's someone who is driving and you are not, and they claim maybe you are not their, their level or their class, and you know yourself, it's okay with you. <laughs> if you know yourself, maybe because you can't see the car in the if we live here and everyone gets into their car, why should I be offended? <laughs> it was not one of the requirements for coming here. So if it, it comes, uh, it goes with identity. If you know your, your place, if someone maybe uh, treats you badly because of maybe the position you are in, understand they, are the pro they have the problem. It is new. It's not you who has the problem. So if we understand that, then... Uh, this revenge it acquired to childish you you won't pursue that you know who you are and you know who are uh, that's who you are in god if you know that <laughs> i think that's all you need to know because people will say things people will think you are this but you know who you really are if you know your your, your identity then that is uh it's it's okay with you if someone tells you how could you nagari so if we had you, you say thank you. God is it too is in a gonganga who could be the You know, these things, these are material things. They don't define who you are. At times, uh, like at some point uh, at Serena parking, meet it will yangukia magari apo. And maybe insurance I kwa cover, they are called acts of God. Muti di angukia nugari yako. We are talking about who are you in relation with Baya? You are you, you, like you are driving while drunk. So when you know yourself, these things should not dictate what you do next or how you now handle people or you treat other women. If someone, uh, that's why they they say it's okay, it's good. Thank God it happened earlier, <laughs> so that you <laughs> you you yeah. with your Uber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least you you met but you are driving now. Because maybe you are not worthy, yeah. but. You know who you are. Let's not that dictate who you are. Yeah. Or, Sanjua, you, if you, if you, it seems you have something to add on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would like to say even uh, for believers, uh, for us, as he said, uh, Jesus said something uh, that uh, a man's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. So a believer knows that uh, our worth, our identity is not in the things that we possess. So I think for, uh, it's a shame for a lady like that who dumped the guy because he had no car. Uh, I think uh, if she was really a, a true believer, she would not have done something like that. And, and that's why I, I was talking about uh, investing in, in knowledge and, and, and learning things about marriage, relationships, and something like that. Proverbs 24, uh, 3 and 4 says that, um, it, it says that a house is built on, on, on wisdom. It is established on, on knowledge. So even in this uh, journey of relationships and even marriage, we need a lot of information, we need a lot of uh, knowledge, we need a lot of wisdom. Wisdom is the application of the, of the information. So uh, yeah, I think if people really sit down, even for women, to understand how men are, how they function, how they are, I think issues like those would not, uh, would not arise. You know. uh, Robert, as we close, where is the balance between, um, you know, they say men are... You know, they walk by sight. <laughs> <laughs> visual beings. Visual beings. Yeah. So where is the balance between uh, finding out when you're looking for a wife, between mm -hmm. physical attractiveness mm -hmm. and, you know, innate characteristics of a person, they, the character? Mm -hmm. Where should a man find balance between these two things? <laughs> because it is said that these days it seems men are looking for, you know, those women who are looking Figuring like something, yeah. mm -hmm. something that is not living. <laughs> <laughs> not living. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, some would say that beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Of the beholder. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I want to say that uh, both things, are, the, the two things are important, both beauty and number two, the character. Um, but I think character comes first. Character comes first because beauty without character, it may not make a lot of sense to a man. So me, I think, <laughs> I think a lady, um, uh, men are looking for ladies who are beautiful, yes. According to, to them, because beauty differs, yeah? Beauty differs amongst men. So they, they prefer different things, yeah. So beauty and character. Mm -hmm. 
they have to go hand in hand. Hand in hand. <laughs> hand, in hand yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, I'd like to say like beauty is everywhere. If I go outside here, I'll see beautiful women. Uh, but I, I think uh, for me, we should go beyond the beauty and, and look for uh, character. Uh, th this, this proverbs that says uh, a beautiful woman without character is like a gold ring in a pig's snout. <laughs> you, you know, you cannot beautify a pig by just putting gold on its, yeah. on its nose. So a uh, beautiful woman, I've seen them, I think we have all, but they have no character. You know, they're not God-fearing or maybe they're in the church. And especially now, like everyone here is in the uh, spotlight, you know, you attract a lot of them, you know, and some of them might not have the, the, the right intentions or the motives when you go with them, maybe they don't have character. So I think I would f focus on the character and then, uh, yeah, not necessarily on the beauty aspect. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, we have to end the show. But before we do that, I'd like to give these guys um, 30 seconds each to just you know, give your parting shot, your thoughts and your encouragement, or whatever you feel you, you need to say. So, Victor, you can look at that camera and give your parting shot. Okay. Uh, thank you for this uh, chance, opportunity to be here. Mine is just to, to encourage each and every person. As you live your life, your life doesn't have a rehearsal. Every day is new. So... Uh, live your life to the fullest don't wait at nikifika this point is where i'll now be living niki niki fly out every week that's where i'm living no live each day enjoy each day because uh like tomorrow is not guaranteed it is god who has given us today as a gift enjoy each and every day every season okay i'm dogo there were things you enjoy doing going to show shows you, you enjoy those things, but now they are over. It's this season. Maybe Ujafika place to Kuenda, but enjoy each and every season. Don't be so much focused on the destination and you miss the journey. Because if you enjoy the journey, then uh, you learn a few things here and there. But if you miss the signs, you miss the beautiful buildings along the way, then Unafika Unashidu, Haya, Ukudionaivasha. You know? <laughs> Wow. So you need to enjoy the journey. Okay, yeah. Sanju, I know there are pastors watching. How can the church help the, in the process of, you know, these guys waiting so long and they are looking to get married? Maybe you can just speak how to. Uh, I would like to say for the churches and the pastors, um, I would recommend having seminars and, and things like those, or even uh, hangouts where the young people uh, taught about things that I was sharing about marriage, relationships. As I was saying, I thought I only knew about, I needed to know about my work and my vision and my purpose. But on these seminars, they can be taught about how uh, relationship works, you know, and also not just for men, but also for women to know how to understand the men. And uh, yeah, just have those events where even the young people can interact because uh, I think the last time you asked that it's an environment, a, a reason why people don't do that. So maybe they can have these inter-churches uh, uh, events where people can even reach okay. out and meet others. Okay. Mm -hmm. I give you three seconds. Three seconds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll try. Uh, yeah. So thank you so much for the opportunity to, uh, to speak our minds. And I know that someone uh, somewhere has been helped through the talk that we have had today. And I want to speak to uh, the young people out there, the, the, the guys, uh, the ladies. Uh, and I want to tell you that don't be anxious. The Bible says that you should not be anxious of anything, but through prayer and supplication, make your requests uh, be known uh, to God. So don't be anxious. Uh, you, you may be seeing your ages going. Don't be anxious until you, uh, you decide to compromise. Don't compromise. Stick to your principles. God is watching over you. Pray, seek the face of God, and he will reveal to you what you're supposed to do and the way that you're supposed to take. Amen. Wow. Thank you so much, guys, for coming to the show. We are glad that you are coming. Please, when you get married, invite us to your wedding. And yes. you know, if, 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 if a single lady you know, sends me a text and says, can I get to know Sanju, uh, I can send you. You open to that, open. you guys? Sure, sure, <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for watching Sister Talk. We believe that you had a good time and you've learned something. And uh, at the end of the day, it is God who gives the meat. So live a life that's pleasing to God and it will fulfill every desire of your heart. 
Thank you for watching. My name is Linda Talam. See you again next week. God bless you.